All right, everybody, so I'm in the console challenge here, and these are the two documents that I have. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up our program here in the browser. I'm going to run the console. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at some of the errors that pop up here. We can see here that we have some syntax errors. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our actual document here. So I'm going to open up with my notepad plus plus. And in here, I'm just going to take a quick look and see if there's anything missing in the syntax. So we can see that our alert command looks like it's pretty fine. Our document.write command is pretty good. Oh, whoops, look at that. We're missing a bracket right here. So let's add that bracket in. Now, that looks much better. Let's continue down the page. Uh, console. Oh, we can see we're missing a G here. So we're just going to enter that in really quickly. And that looks pretty good. And in the next console.log, we can see here that everything looks pretty good, except for a very common mistake is if you guess we forgot the semicolon, then you are absolutely correct. So I'm going to stick that in there. And I'm going to save this file here. And I'm going to point out that you guys, a shortcut to save, instead of going file save every time you want to save, is you can hit control S on Windows. So now our file has saved. If we open up a file again, we can see that we have our notification box pops up here. And we have fixed this line of code. So we have completed our challenge. Now, this is how I would go about debugging this program. You can use the console step by step. Or if you're more seasoned, you can kind of take a quick look. By using the console, we could see that we had a couple syntax errors. So basically spelling mistakes, you know, all that common stuff, not putting semicolons, that's, you know, not closing your brackets, brackets. That's probably the most common thing that happens, especially when beginner JavaScript programmers start working with JavaScript. So if that ever happens, syntax is probably the first thing you want to check. So if you complete this program by yourself, I'm going to congratulate you. That's awesome. If you needed help, that's fine too. Everybody needs help here and there, and that's why I'm here. So now we have the solution to this program, and we're all good to go. In the next lecture, I'm going to give you guys a brief quiz and test you guys on the JavaScript basics that we learned so far, and then we're going to move on to the next section of the course, which is going to be learning about variables and all that kind of fun stuff in JavaScript. So I'll see you in the next quiz, and we'll go on from there.